Shoes meaning skates. skates. Thank you, Juliet. <laughs> well, the unemployment rate in this country is 6.6 .6 nationwide, but unemployment among black voters is 12.1%. That's up from January and nearly double the national average. I think it's the highest ever recorded. Hmm. At the State of the Union address, the president hinted at a plan to fix this situation. I'm reaching out to some of America's leading foundations and corporations on a new initiative to help more young men of color facing especially tough odds to stay on track and reach their full potential. Well, but are, critics, uh, are the president's own economic policies to blame for the current situation? Well, Niger Innes is a spokesman for the Congress on Racial Equality. He's running for Congress in Nevada's 4th District, also known as Nevada. Uh, Niger, thanks a lot for joining <laughs> us. So Good morning. I am so struck by the president's twin and competing goals of lowering the unemployment rate among black Americans and increasing dramatically the rate of low-skilled uh, workers who Im immigrate to this country. The two kind of work against one another, don't they? Well, there's so many things wrong with the president's policies. Just think about this for a second. He's focusing on young black men, and I suppose he also is concerned about young uh, uh, Latino men and young women of color as well. And yet he, the first black president of the United States, first African-American president of the United States, has his black attorney general suing the state of Louisiana to t try to prevent them from instituting a voucher program that is going to disproportionately help young black kids in, in uh, Louisiana to get an education so that they can compete and uh, compete for the jobs of, of the century. Hmm. Critics have said, of course, that the president's own policies right now are adversely affecting uh, black voters. And this effort by the president, I'll quote this and see if you can understand what this means, is going to make sure that every young man of color who is willing to work hard and lift himself up has an opportunity to get ahead and reach his full potential. That's what the White House said about these new programs, kind of a nebulous statement. What does that mean? It's a neb that, well, this is exactly right. It's uh, a symbolic gesture. It's a, uh, a, a penny short, or probably a dollar short, quite frankly, uh, and it's, it's vintage symbolism. This president is very good at symbolism, but he is not very good at doing the things that are needed and, and, and this necessity to uh, help uplift uh, this country economically. And the people that are getting it the worst are African Americans and Latinos. Here in my uh, state, which still has the highest unemployment, you have black unemployment at six, near 16 percent and Latino unemployment at near 14 percent. It's an outrage. Well, that is, and, you know, that don't, is don't unbelievable. Don't take it from I mean, me. Take those it from numbers Travis are, Smiley. To, but here's what I don't understand, Nigel. Those numbers are, are real. They're terrible. State after state have the same numbers. They're, all the numbers are terrible. Why did the president get over 90 percent of support from black voters in the last election? Well, you know, there actually were exceptions to that rule here in Nevada. We were the only state where, the only battleground state where actually all three minority groups trended more Republican in 2012 than in 2008. You know, and there's no question, and I'm not going to dodge your your question, Tucker. There is a uh, emotional bond uh, that African Americans have to this president, but quite frankly, he did extraordinarily well in the Latino community and in the most assimilated uh, minority group, Asian Americans. He won them three to one. He did. Uh, so it was among a variety of minority groups as well as single women or divorced women that the president did extraordinarily well with, but I think a lot of folk have buyer's remorse, and I'm not really focused on looking backwards in 2012. I'm looking forward, and I think a lot of folk, a lot of unions, a lot of minorities, a lot of women see the disastrous policies of this president, who has, by the way, been in power for five years, and my senator here in Nevada, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, has been in power for seven years. Uh, how dare these guys talk about income inequality when they've been running the shop for that, five that's years a really to, to good seven point. years? Well, well, if right. Republicans can articulate that point at, come the next election, which as, they failed to do As you time. know, Bush did it. Uh, but Niger, Niger, thanks a lot for joining us from <laughs> Nevada you. slash Nevada this morning. Thank you. Thanks, Niger. Nevada. So people from Nevada, they say Nevada. They right? say Nevada. Yeah. They don't like it if you say, say Nevada. Nevada. Right.